massive, overwhelming, and thick $700 browser statue announced. That's the headline Niche Gamer published back in 2017. For just a few days during the month of November 2017, this exclusive Bowser statue was available to order. Of course I bought one. The 19 inches tall Super Mario antagonist Bowser statue was fully painted, assembled, and a whopping $700. You read that right. 700 United States doll reduce. Listen, I was prepared to pay anything. Size isn't everything with the statue, however, as the magnetized tongue can be swapped out for a fireball that even lights up with its built-in LEDs. It's been years since I bought it, and it's finally here. 21.1 kilograms of pure chunk. This video is sponsored by ExpressVPN. I watch way too many cat videos, and if my internet provider found out how many cat videos I watched, they'd probably have to shut down my internet and also call the police. I use ExpressVPN, so my internet provider can't find out what videos I watch online, and no one else can either. This is how I use it, and it's super simple. First of all, get it by going to expressvpn.com slash seth. Then after you install it on your device, just open it and choose whatever VPN server you want from any country and hit connect. And now you're connected securely, and you can basically use the internet anonymously. Right now, it's very important for many people to stay at home and protect themselves. Most people in these times are probably more dependent on the internet than ever before. So don't only protect yourself, protect your internet too. Find out now how you can get three months free by clicking the link in the description box below expressvpn.com slash seth i know you want me to play piano while staring into the camera but listen i make half a video every other month so you're gonna let me shove everything that's happened the last few months into this one video okay First of all, it's two packages. This one's very heavy, but it's just a stand. It's like a thing that it stands on. I have the trusty knife, very important. It's like too big, I'm not even in frame anymore, but let's be very reckless with the knife here. It's a box within a box. It's literally the same box. <laughs> okay. Um, let's do this. Upside down. Ah! No! Oh yeah, and each individual Bowser has like an, a cool number, because they only made like a thousand or something, and mine is number 745. And I wanted it to be a cool number, like 420 or 69 or 500 or something, but it's just 745. More reckless knife play. It's fine, because if I cut myself, it's just like, an extra million views. In here we have um, a box. <laughs> Damn! Like what? This box is actually sick. Also, these are like, these have like doubled in price on eBay right now. So, <sighs> okay, I'm doing this one more time. I kind of want to save this box, but like, am I a hoarder? Maybe. What? Like even this thing has like, I don't know if you can see this, but even. This, whatever it's called, material has like polystyrene. A Bowser engraved right there. That's actually sick. This is like high quality. Just lean against the TV, that's fine. Just an OLED TV, you know, whatever. Okay, here, this is the exclusive, exclusive edition fire, only with the exclusive edition. Did I mention it's the exclusive edition? <laughs> only with the exclusive edition. The fire looks Cool. Looks like cool fire. Yeah, and then we have the stand. Oh, which is heavy as 745. This is where it's gonna stand. Very cool. And then a battery and a charger or something. Now onto the Bowser itself. <sighs> this is probably fine. Watch me just like slice open my TV. My OLED TV. Oh look, we have a box within a box. We have a box. Let's open the box. 
This is like the least professional unboxing. Come on, big boy. Ah, this shit's heavy as I put him right here. He's completely blocking the TV, but why does it matter? You're just gonna stare at this thick boy anyway. Thickness, 10 out of 10. Sexiness, 10 out of 10. Fire, not working. Regrets, none. Did you think that was a bad purchase? Well, I also bought this entire GameCube kiosk for no reason. What we didn't know at the time is that the whole thing weighs 200 kilograms, all in this solid cast iron plate. I saw it for sale online here in Sweden, uh, not even in my city, so me and a friend decided to drive over there in a big van and pick it up. What we didn't know is that it weighs about 200 kilograms. It's basically this heavy so annoying kids in the video game stores physically can't move the whole thing around. Unfortunately, normal humans also can't move this thing around. And you know, I'm two meters tall and we were three people. Lifting this thing off the ground was not possible. The seller had it in a basement room, so we had to drag it on the ground up a slope to even reach our car. And that's when I managed to pull my entire back out, which is still giving me back problems to this day. And out of pure anger and willpower, we managed to somehow get it out to the street and with a last effort just barely lift and push it into the van. We drove all the way home and just left it in the van for about a week because f that. And after recovering from all that, we managed to pull it out of the car. And then we just left it outside for a few more days because holy shit. We used rugs and blankets to kind of put the whole thing on top of them and then pull them. And after a few hours, we got it into the room. And it's never ever going to leave this room. When someone else buys this house, it's going to just sit here. For centuries, no one will move this. I also got all these very epic GameCube games. Animal Crossing, just because it's Animal Crossing. Super Mario Sunshine, because my favorite game of all time is probably Super Mario 64 for the Nintendo 64. And this is basically the next generation of that game series for the GameCube. Mario Kart Double Dash, because Mario Kart. Luigi's Mansion, because it's a Luigi for once and it's supposed to be a really good game, I've never played it. Super Smash Bros. Melee is one of the games that Smash players seem to love, so I'm gonna try it out too. The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker, super cool game. The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, also super cool, I love. It's like a classic. I feel like these are classic games you need to have if you have a GameCube. I've never tried playing the Metroid series ever, so I got Metroid Prime and Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. Cool future robot stuff happening seems pretty cool. I got Star Fox Adventures just because I had Star Fox for the Nintendo 64 as a kid, so I want to try this out too. And then Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2 because I had it for the PS2 and I played it like all day long when I was 12. I actually just today got uh, the Pikmin games 1 and 2 because they seem really cool and like weird and Japanese and very strange and they're supposed to be really good and like underrated in the West, so... I'm gonna try those out. I also got Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4 somewhere around because uh, I played it a lot as a kid on the PS2 and I loved it. And then I got the WaveBird controller, which is basically the wireless GameCube controller. Uh, and it's extremely expensive even today. It's like more expensive to buy one used than to buy a brand new like PS4 or Xbox One controller. It's Arnold Schwarzenegger. And he sits on the fridge because the fridge is the closest thing to a Terminator T-800 body that I have in my house. This thing was not cheap, but listen, just look at him. He looks super cool and check this shit out. That's right, a glowing eye. I'm really just a huge fan of Arnold Schwarzenegger because I think he's a super cool person. I don't agree with everything he does, but the personality is just amazing. And I also have this jacket that he used to wear. It's originally made for him. As you can see here, it says, made especially for Arnold Schwarzenegger. It's one of my most prized possessions. Some other things have happened the last few weeks too. I was at a Swedish music award show, but more importantly, the same pic of Seth everyday Instagram page got deleted one day after hitting a year. One year of daily Seth pictures, which is so sad. This is extremely sad, rest in peace. I also predicted the fact that Billie Eilish would be in James Bond. Also, why am I not verified on Twitter? I'm just like, I don't really care. I'm just curious to know why. If you work at Twitter, please verify me. Thank you. I did some videos for 
the Swedish Music Award show that I said, and those videos are me doing, you know, my style covers of Swedish hit songs. So you can watch that on YouTube right now. Just go search for this, the link in the description. If you want to see me play some music in a cool way, you'll probably recognize maybe at least two of the songs. However, the texts are fully in Swedish, so you might not get the jokes, but you can still listen to the music. And I also found this video of me giving out the award. I handed out the award for uh, the song of the year, and there's a video of like me actually handing out the award. First he said, this year's winner is, and then they played my video that I pre-recorded, so I already knew the winner. And then while my video was playing, I went up on stage in the arena, and then I was supposed to give him the award. And it's like so confusing for the artist who won, like the rapper. So he <laughs> he didn't really know if he was supposed to go up or not. And you can tell kind of how tall I am compared to them. But they sort of filmed it like from a down angle, which is great. Because then I don't look like a tall giant. Thank you Swedish TV for making me not look like a tall giant. And for once actually looking like a normal height person. Very cool. <laughs> you can just see me like standing there looking cool. I'm just standing there like... I did this at the camera. Very cool. The funniest comment I got was someone said, I heard PewDiePie before. <laughs> and it's not even PewDiePie, it's my bro, the host of the award show, Kojo. I also got nominated for a Shorty Award, which is very cool and unexpected, so thank you. I don't really know what that is, but please vote for me. I crave the attention and validation.